Yo, what is up guys and welcome back to another announcement video on the channel. Now, before we get into this, I just want to tell you guys or ask you guys if you can stick through the entire video because it is very important. There's going to be a lot of cool new additions to the channel, but at the same time there's going to be a very big change that I'm going to say at the end, so make sure you stay through the entire video so you guys get all of that information and you know where the channel is going to go from here. So as many of you can already see, your boy is kind of behind on a lot of anime. I'm kind of behind on uploads, but at the same time, your boy has not been slacking, okay? I've been doing my research, okay? I've been meditating in the mountains, learning so much about content creation and how to do it better and what I'm doing wrong. And after doing all of that, I've decided to change up my game plan and I'm going to tell you guys how throughout the rest of this video. It's going to be split into two parts. The first part is going to be new additions to the channel that you guys can look forward to and the second part is going to be the big announcement and how it's going to affect the channel and hopefully you guys are able to bear with me but I hope you guys will stick around and give it a chance because I think you'll honestly like it once you actually see what I'm about to do. But anyways, let's get right into the announcements. So the first announcement that I'm going to make is from here on out all reactions are going to be full length reactions using the timer method now this is the one that I'm kind of the most nervous about because as you guys know I um, the way I did my videos before was I would take the video and I'd cut all out I I'd cut out all of the boring parts and then I'd include just the hype or interesting moments of the anime in order to kind of make it like a highlight reel. So now, all of the parts that I cut out, all the dumb things that I said, all of the like really dumb moments <laughs> that I cut out, because I say some really dumb stuff when I'm bored. So all of that stuff that I cut out is now going to be unleashed onto the world. And so you guys will be able to see a full, raw, uncut reaction of myself throughout the entire 20 minutes or 24 minutes of the anime. So stay tuned for that. And when it comes to the timer method, pretty much all I'm going to have in my videos is my reaction, the timer of course, and then the subtitles for the video, so you can kind of get an idea of where I'm at. And that way, you can go to your outside source or whatever you use to watch anime. I'll have a link to my source of the video if you guys don't actually have a place. You can take those, put it in a window, and then drag the window. Uh, kinda on top of the video so you can see my reaction on this side and then you'll see the video on this side I'll show a picture to show you guys what I mean or how I do it and then uh, that's pretty much how I'm gonna be doing my videos from here on out and now for the second announcement now that I'm doing the timer method that is actually very very helpful for me in multiple ways the first way being that I get to spend a lot less time editing because I'm just pretty much putting up the entire reaction and, and the second reason is because throughout my research, I've been kind of tinkering with my um, editing software and I found out a way where I can render videos in half of the time. So less time spent editing plus less time spent rendering means more time that I can spend actually recording content and making content for you guys and getting that content up faster for you guys. So we can knock out a lot more anime that you guys are suggesting. And the third announcement is that I'll be adding new links into the description and this is where things will get really interesting because I'm trying some new things and I really want to know how you guys feel about it. But anyways, the first link that you see will always be the source video so you can click that, grab the video, drag it on top of the reaction and then you can follow along. I think that'll be, you know, pretty immersive for us so you feel like, you know, you're actually there with me at least a bit more than you are now. The second link that you guys see in the description will be the mega link to the full reaction. So you'll see my reaction and you'll see the video in the corner, no filters, no mumbo jumbo clogging the screen. It'll be the full unfiltered raw reaction so you guys can just watch that by itself and not have to if you don't want to follow along, then you can do that. And then the third link in my description will be the link to my BitTube. Now, a lot of you guys may know about this site known as BitChute that some other reactors use. Well, I found a site called BitTube, which is pretty much just like BitChute, except in my opinion, I think it's a lot more organized. It's a lot more helpful for me as a content creator to organize my stuff on there. 
and on top of that it's full quality videos. On BitChute it like reduces your videos to like 360p or 480p but on BitTube it doesn't reduce the video's quality at all so you get the full video there and on top of that all of the videos from here on out that are posted on there will be completely unfiltered reactions so you guys can see me you can see the video no mumbo jumbo just like i said in the last uh link but yeah that'll pretty much have everything there on that site for you guys to see so you can go back and watch any of my playlists any of my videos anything really and then the fourth new announcement that I want to make is that, um, well, I guess it's not really much of an announcement, but anyways, there's tons more to announce in the future. The announcement is that there's more announcements to come, pretty much. There's a lot of stuff that I've been working on behind the scenes, some things that I've been trying to do for 1K, but it ended up being a lot more work than I actually thought, and I wanted to put a lot more of myself into that stuff as well so there's a lot of handmade stuff a lot of hard work that's been going into these things I'm going to announce in the future so stay tuned for that and hopefully you guys enjoy it because I'm really trying to make it special for you guys and now whew, we get to the biggest change I will be making on my channel and that change is going to be in a week's time from today I will be deleting all non-timer reactions from the channel and the reason why I will be doing that is because one the way that I'm doing reactions right now is unsafe and a lot of people actually use this reaction style where they you know cut up the video or they you know fade the video and that helps you to avoid content ID which is the tracker that you know sends your video to the companies but if a company manually targets you like they find your video and they target you that isn't gonna protect you if you have any little clip from someone else's content you can still be liable for copyright you can still get blocked and you can still get striked and no fading or cutting up the video is really going to save you from that as some of you may know evlogs and just rashad two channels that i very much respected in the community have actually gotten striked pretty hard and myself included i got a strike but these guys got three strikes so their channel is in the process of being terminated and that is honestly personally i think it's a bit unfair that they just got terminated in one moment like all of their videos were striked in one day or not all of them but like three videos striked in one day and they're immediately you know on the cliff and the only way to really avoid that happening is like YouTube and everyone else says is to not have that content up there at all. Or at least a very, very, very minimal part of someone's content, which is why I'll just be having the subtitles in my videos. But, um, and the second reason why I'm going to take all these videos down is because copyright can hit you out of nowhere. I could upload a video, first day it'll be fine, second day everything's good. Third day, everything is still peachy. And then a week later, I wake up to see that my video's blocked. And if your video can be blocked, it can be striked. It's completely up to the copyright holder. And so you could wake up one day and found out and find out that your video is striked and that you have a strike on your channel. And that's what happened to me for recreators. And that's why you guys don't see it on here. But don't worry, you will see it on BitTube if you guys go there. But I've heard so many stories about people getting strikes on their channel, which are serious. Three strikes and you're out. Getting strikes on their channel from videos they've uploaded years ago, which I don't want to run into. Like, for example, Promise Neverland. I know that's a huge series. Sony Music Entertainment, which is infinite, infamous for striking. They are behind that anime. And although the videos are going well now, I haven't had any issues. I could wake up one day and find out that all three or <laughs> find out that three of those 12 videos are striked and my channel is done for so i'm gonna remove all those videos you can find them all on my BitTube. if you guys have a series that you love in particular or a series you never got to make sure to uh get to it this week because it's going to be gone the next and it'll just be on my BitTube. so you can still check it out there 
But yeah, I'm going to remove all of these videos that don't have the timer. And from here on out, it's just going to be timer videos on the channel in order to keep myself safe. And also so you guys can kind of follow along and be more immersed in these newer videos so we can have more of a connection, you know? And now for the moment that many of you have been waiting for in the community tab you guys that have seen my post talking about opening the floodgates what is this guy talking about what floodgates what are we doing here well by opening the floodgates i mean although i haven't been uploading to the channel a lot that does not mean your boy has not been recording i didn't want to get any videos up i didn't want to upload recklessly until i found a concrete way i wanted to do my videos from here on out and the timer method is the way that i want to do it so now all of these videos that I have in store, I've put into the timer method and I'll be unleashing them onto you guys, dropping them. I have a bunch of videos I'm going to drop like crazy. Kenja no Maho, we have that coming. One Punch Man episode 2, Fruits Basket, Fairy Gone, I still have to watch Kimetsu no Yaiba, there's so many videos that are going to be coming at you left and right, so make sure you guys check back the channel every once in a while and see if a video you liked came up, but yes, with all of that being said, I finally got all my announcements out, I finally got everything I wanted to say out, and now I can get to uploading these videos I've been holding for so long, so now, as I said in my post, it's time to open the floodgates. I may open them tomorrow. I'm not entirely sure yet. But I'm thinking tomorrow I'm going to open the floodgates, drop videos like crazy. Stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much for sticking through the video. If you did, you got all of that information soaked in. Hopefully you guys are open to these changes I'm trying to make on the channel. And um, I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. And I'll see you all in the next one. Have a good one.